Hi, what's up YouTube? Have you ever been to Nassau, Bahamas before? Well, in today's video, I'm just going to do a recap of what my vacation was like. I just got back from a five-day cruise, and we ended up at one of the destinations being Nassau, Bahamas. If you've been to the Bahamas before and have some good recommendations, just leave them in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, definitely give it a big thumbs up for me, and share this video with someone that can use it. Here's a little map that I decided to draw, and I shared it with a friend, and I decided to share it with you all today. Okay, let me help you interpret my little drawing real quick. So the upper left-hand corner where it says S, that's my starting point. That is going to be the NASA Bahamas Cruise Terminal. On the bottom right corner of the screen, you see an F. That is the finish line. That is actually a public beach called Cabbage Beach. I have some solid lines and dotted lines. The dotted lines mean I was walking, and the solid lines, if it's over water, means we took a ferry boat, and solid lines over the land means we took a taxi. And you can see the arrows that help you navigate to and from each destination. All right, so let me give you a quick overview of my trip in Nasa Bahamas. Let's get down to where I started, which is right over here. So this is the Prince George Wharf, also known as the Nasa Bahamas Cruise Terminal, and it is also attached to the Festival Place, which is a yellow and white trim building um, that you can also book your excursions and rent a taxi, rent a bus, or even a scooter, or you can just walk around from here. So what happens is everyone gets off the ship and everyone makes their way and walks down this long path over here to the terminal. And from the festival place, we decided to go and take a ferry boat, which was right over here. It was $4 per person for a one-way trip and $8 for a round trip. We just went with the $4 one-way trip, and basically it takes about 45 minutes to get to where we're going. So I'm going to zoom out here so you can see where we went. So it takes about 45 minutes versus taking a taxi, which only takes about 10 minutes to go about 2 miles or 3.5 kilometers. Um, to Atlanta City. So this ferry boat doesn't actually take you all the way to Atlanta City. You do still have to do some walking, but I will show you real quick where we ended up. So all the way down over here is where the ferry boat drops you off. Look at the base of this bridge right here. This little um, harbor or pier right over here is right where they dropped us off at. And then from there, we actually had to walk all the way down the street over here come all the way around here and this is Atlanta City so we hung out at Atlanta City for a little while and after that we decided to take a taxi which we could have actually walked ourselves but I had some family members that had their feet were killing them and they couldn't take any more walking so we just decided to take a taxi from here and we went to Viola's, which is a really nice restaurant if you're looking for some really awesome, authentic food from the Bahamas. Um, beverages were amazing as well, clean bathrooms and free Wi-Fi. But we hung out here for a little while at Viola's restaurant and then we just made a right turn and we decided to walk. It was only about five, 10 minutes to walk to a public beach um, called Cabbage Beach. So all you have to do is just walk from Viola's, make a right, and then make another right, and walk right through here. And if you ever get lost, there's going to be a tall white building right over here. You can't miss it. I believe it's called um, Hotel Ryu Palace, Paradise Island. And um, it's really nice. So if you go over here, you're going to see Cabbage Beach. We ended up over here, and it is beautiful. Um, they serve drinks there, food. You can also, um, I think it's like $5 to rent uh, like a um, umbrella or even a chair. So I'm gonna zoom out here so you can kind of see everything. There's the hotel there. And we hung out here for a good three hours and then after we were done, we walked all the way back through this little path right over here. And there are plenty of taxis um, waiting to take you back. So it'll be $4 to go back to the terminal. And so that's what we did. And then they drive you all the way back over here and you go over this bridge right over here. And then it takes you all the way back to the terminal right there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little overview. Definitely give me some feedback on how your trip was, whether you um, took a ferry boat, scooter, or whatever your experience was. Um, I'd love to hear it down in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, thank you all for watching.